it just doesn't make a lot of sense on the surface, Brett, that a drug and people smuggling cartel would kill these women and children. Is there anything that you have found that's a motivating factor here? There is. It didn't, it didn't make sense to me either, Bill. Um, I've spent some time with Frank and he's given me permission to share with you some of the ins, uh, sort of the inside information about this, is, this issue. Um, the cartel frequently utilizes, you know, uh, very, very rough organized crime tactics. But as part of that, they have been known to kidnap American citizens. These are dual citizen communities. They are U.S. citizens and they had uh, been suffering off and on kidnappings of their children. They came together as a community and decided that they would not negotiate with the cartel, that they would stand up to them. They requested Mexico to help. Um, they refused to step in in a way that uh, assisted the family. So their response when their children would be kidnapped would be to raise their own uh, small army or, or militia and go in and forcibly uh, retrieve the child. It was bold and courageous and, and foolish uh, for sure, um, but it angered the cartel they want folks to cower to them, and this group would not. And they decided that they would do that in order to protect their children because they believed if they gave in, they would continue to kidnap their children. So this is bad for cartel business, all right? Um, now the president of the United States and many of the citizens of this country are demanding that action be taken against the cartels. That story will die down. The president of Mexico is not going to take action against the cartels. Um, and I don't know why, but he's just not. And the other presidents didn't either. Some of them may have been bribed. Some of them were afraid. I don't know. Um, but certainly this is bad for cartel business. 